Hello, in this video we will learn how to start working with the RTL. We will see the basics on its parameters, its configuration, just the last step before doing some real things with it. So, now we have installed everything and it's time to start playing with the RTL. We need to plug the RTL with the antenna. Do not forget to plug the antenna into the RTL and the RTL into a free USB port of your computer. It's not recommended to change the USB port of the RTL. If you need to plug it, to unplug it from your computer, please remember the port where you have plugged it before, to plug in there again. The first step is to see the basic configuration of the RTL. We type SDR, SDR INFO. This command. So here we can see that the radio name, the radio address, this is important if we have more than one RTL plugged to our computer. Also the tanner name, the manufacturer, in this case is generic, the product. And here we start with some parameters, with some technical parameters, let's say. The gain value, also the frequency of the crystal and the frequency of the tanner and the sampling mode. This is also a good test to see that everything is okay and everything is very, it's configured well. If MATLAB does not see your RTL, there are some possible causes. The first one, and the most obvious, but sometimes it happens, the RTL is not plugged. Please check that you have plugged it in the right USB port. Perhaps the driver is not installed properly, and there are many more other causes. The solution. The easiest solution, and maybe the better one, is to request support in MATLAB. To do so, you can go here and request support. You will be forwarded to the web page where you can open a request of support to solve this issue. Also, you can go to the forum of the course and also you can check the user guide of the support package be because it has a lot of troubleshooting issues. Now, let's go through the parameters of the RTL. This command, as we will see later, is very useful when dealing with the RTL. Here, we will be able to change some parameters of the RTL and also to check its value. So, let's go to MATLAB. Here we can see that the center frequency is this one, little bit more than one giga. That the automatic gain control is enabled. The sample rate is fixed to 250,000 Hz. Also that we have 1,024 samples per frame. There is no frequency correction and the output data tape is an integer. Let's see what does it mean, each one of them. The center frequency is the radio frequency. Remember that the maximum is between 1.7 and 1. Point gigahertz. It depends on the temperature and on your very device, but this is more or less the maximum frequency that you will uh, be able to have. The second one 
is the automatic gain control. The automatic gain control will be explained into more details in future examples. But if you enable this parameter, the output amplitude will be constant. So if the signal power goes down, this automatic gain control will be able to raise it to the same level that we had before this decreasement. The third parameter is the sampling frequency. Remember that this, the maximum value of this parameter is 2.8 mega samples per second. The possible data tapes at the output of the RTL are three, integer, single and double. By defect, it's integer. The samples per frame should be a scalar integer of 256. And the frequency correction is used to correct some slight offsets that the local oscillators of the RTL may have and to correct them. The maximum value for this parameter is 10 kHz. Let's see more RTL parameters into more detail. I'm typing the command that I have here. So here you can see that we have almost the same parameters that I explained before and some more. The sampling mode it's quadrature. Quadrature means that we will have two outputs, one for each branch, as we explained in the previous videos of this module. The in-phase and the quadrature one. Also, the gain values. There are more other useful RTL functions. The first one is reset. If you want to restore the RTL back to its initial values. The second one, very important that which will be used a lot when working with the RTL on MATLAB is the step command. It's used to receive data from the RTL. So if we type this command, we will receive some raw data. Here you can see that we have some complex numbers, a large column array. This is the raw data that comes from the output of the RTL. Also, this step command has a lot of possible options and length, in this case, means the number of samples that you want to get in this time. The command that we explained before, the com, this one, the com.sdr RTL receiver, is the one that will let us to change the parameters of the RTL in MATLAB. This is the syntax. You type the name of the parameter that we want to change, for example, center frequency between apostrophe and then the value for this parameter. You only need to include the parameters that, do want that you want to change. Of course, there are more advanced functions and more advanced options of the function that we have seen. So, it, was, it is very useful to check the user guide of the support package for the RTL SDR. Now it's your turn to play around with the RTL changing parameters and trying to do things. Of course, we strongly recommend you to see the help for some of these functions. The syntax for this help is typing help and the command that you want to see the help. That's it. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.